Hi students, today please look at page 18 in your white book. We are going to practice fill out the following form. Personal information. So here students, please write your first name. You need a capital. Last name. You need a capital. So students, when you are writing, you must write on the line neatly. Okay, if I write like this, this is not good. You must write on the line, please. Okay, so erase and write on the line. Here, you need to write your address, city, Regina, province. For province, you can write SK for short. You don't need to spell Saskatchewan. It's very long. You can just write SK. Here you have your postal code. When you write your telephone number, please write your telephone number like this, 306 and we use these ones, brackets, okay? Then you can write your phone number, 712-0055, okay? Please write your phone number like this. Date of birth. First you write the day. So here, 09 for me, 03, is the month. Okay, so what number is the month? Mine is March. January, February, March is month three. And year, you write here. Male or female? I am female. So you can put an X here. Country of birth? Okay, for me, Canada, but for you, it's different. First language. So my first language is English, but English is not your first language. English is your second language. So you need to write for you Arabic, Chinese, Farsi. What is your first language? language. When did you come to Canada? Day, month, year. And marital status. Are you single? You can put X. Are you married? Are you separated? Separated means you don't live together. You don't live with husband or wife. You don't live together. Widow, okay, your husband died or your wife died. That is what widowed is, remember. Divorced or common law. Common law means you live with your girlfriend or boyfriend, but you are not married. We studied these already in the other videos. So please choose what is your marital status. For me, I am married, so I put an X here. Then you can sign your name. Okay. Please take a picture of page 18 and send it to me today. Okay, students, practice this many times. We will have a test on this next week. Make sure you write neatly. Have a good day. Bye.